to Monday the 5th of February where my wife this morning told me that it was snowing outside. I, I had a lazy one. I had a lay-in to be fair and I've, I've, I've got up and I've looked outside and I don't believe her. So this week I'm going to be not taking it easy but I guess I'm doing a little bit less. But I'm doing last week's Sunday League Football video, the more Sunday League Football, which is the big one, uh, B-Team versus what I'm doing. I didn't have time last week because it was so busy. So I'm going to be editing that today. And then I'm going to do the two Sunday League games and two Sunday League extras this week as well. So still putting out five videos, plus this vlog. I've already done an intro to the B-Team's game, which takes normally about 45 minutes to an hour. You know, you just got to update the, the league table. Then you've got to do the starting lineup as well. Uh, fiddle around with that. But yeah, we're, we're making good time. So we're just en route to uh, see a consultant for Shran because obviously she's not been well. Obviously you guys know what happened back in the day. Just gonna make sure she's all right. See you in a bit. Where are we, where are we? Just pulled up to uh, Fresh Prince Bel Air. When did we come here? We came here New Year's, yeah. So if you didn't see the New Year vlog, we were here then. So Pam, our family friend, has got a dog. And when someone gets a dog, Shran has to be around there immediately. <laughs> Pretty much. She loves dogs. They're all right. Oh, I just heard it. Come on. You I can't promise hear. you, I just Look, heard you. You did not hear a dog yes, it while in the car, on. the house. It's a puppy. She's that excited. I was just saying, it is a kid. It was a, it was a little kid. It was. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh my god, this right. is Milo. Milo or Milo? Oh, the cutest <laughs> little thing. So we know two oh. Milo dogs now, don't we? You could cuddle him, you could have him on your lap, but honestly, oh. Shay, <laughs> you know, like I thought my husband was going to be anti dog, and he just loves him. And it's like, where's he gone? Where's he gone? <laughs> what type of dog is this? Oh my he's God, a Maltese. He's, so cute. Maltese. he's not going to get any bigger. Really? No, no. Why? He's going to, a little bit. I think the mum was. Hello. Uh, Hello. 10 kilos was her weight, and she was a little bit taller than him. Damn it, so last week's vlog has been blocked. Um, I've had a copyright claim from the Premier League. Uh, it's because I featured some of the content between the uh, Tottenham-Liverpool match or Liverpool-Tottenham game. So what I've done is I've gone back to uh, the actual edit and I've basically just blurred it. Started uploading at half four, it's all done, processed. And we're all good, scheduled. Ready for 6pm, which is in 10 minutes time. And now I can crack on doing Sunday League football and I'll get to your comments in a bit. Right, currently at half time on this one, it's 20 past 7. I'm going to call it a day for this one, uh, I'll do the rest tomorrow. And obviously not finishing this today pushes it into tomorrow, which is going to push this stuff into this day and this day and so on and so forth. But, but at the moment, Friday's just a little smiley face. Um, so, I don't mind pushing stuff into that day. As I say, this week for me is not about overdoing it, it's just about getting the stuff done. And if it takes all week, it takes all week, as long as we get it done. I'm happy. Time to chill. Shran's favourite show at the moment, the Goldbergs. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like the Goldbergs? Mm. I'm going to give it a 7? An 8? 7.5. 7.5, like it. Welcome to Tuesday, where it's half 8 in the morning. Just going to the hospital with Shran. Um, obviously after yesterday's consultancy, they've uh, sent her for a blood test. So I'm just going to go there with her this morning and then uh, it's cracking on with the rest of the day. As per usual, I couldn't sleep last night so I've actually completed the Sunday League extras. They're all ready to roll, given to Dan. He's going to schedule them up. Which means I can tick tick. Oh, I've done it already. Tick tick tick, baby. Answer me this, why is a lollipop lady on a zebra crossing? A wasted job. And we're back home where I've just splashed out $6.99 on a new wallet. This was a fossil wallet, like a bigger one, and this was like a compartment within the wallet. And I was like, well, I only use this bit because cards can go in there, more cards in there, more cards in there. But it doesn't actually have any sort of area for notes or anything like that. Um, and as I go to more non-league games, uh, I've got change and notes all over the place. So I've changed it. We're grabbing that thing. It's half a centimetre bigger than this one, height and width, so that's not too bad. Alright, it's just got midday. I'm going to go Tesco and get some chicken fires. Still blue sky out there. And that fox, that fox from last week that I put in, he's there again. There he is, just chilling, loving life. You normally associate foxes at night, but all day these guys are out. All day. Oh, hello. I know I keep saying it, but this seriously needs to be cleaned. I thought it was a little bit cheap, she's put two in, not three. Slightly frustrated by that. Beans are on the shopping list as well, so I thought I'd get them. Two cans, 25p each. I hope we've got salad, because I do want something with my chicken fries. Anyway, rather than just sitting here vlogging, I'll, I'll go home and do it. Hang on a minute, she said we needed beans. There's two, there's two cans there. So there's another two that I've just bought. I'll take them off the list. There is three in there. There's three chicken fries, exactly what I've asked for. Julie, you diamond. 
You've only charged me for two. I know she fancies me. I know she does. Just to give you an idea, Julie is definitely pushing 17. She sounds like this. You alright, dear? What can I get you? Nice one, Julie. Nice one. Wapow! Love that. Welcome to Wednesday, where my hair, I don't know what's happened. I've slept funny and it's not. It's not going down. Anyway, today I am doing a little recce on uh, the Civic Hall, which is, uh, is a local hall near a leisure centre where we used to have football presentations when we were younger. Um, it's a pretty big hall, to be fair, but um, I'm looking to do the Palmer's FC presentation here at the end of the season. 1st of June, Friday night. Come down if you want. We'll promote it. More than welcome to join us. A lot of people said the hall's probably too big for a club of our size, but, you know, it's either cramming us into a small social club, men's working club, or getting, you know, something of a little bit more size that we can sort of roam about. Uh, and slide on our knees when the music's on. That's what that's what I want to do anyway. Did you ever do that as a kid? Like, just slide on your knees? <laughs> anyway, we're going to have three teams this year. So we're going to have the girls, the youth team, the under-14s. They're going to be there. And then uh, first and reserve team. So there's three teams there. So that's about, you know, 60-odd people, 70-odd people. Then the managers and coaches. And then the wives and girlfriends of all of these people. So it should fill out pretty quickly. There'll still be space. So uh, let's go and have a look. I'm meeting Dan, by the way. He's going to going to take us through it because he knows the guy that works here or used to he's left but we're, we're meeting these people today to have a little look this right here is childhood for me this is where i used to come swimming so i'm inside i'm in the calf he's dan Again. and i'm just, i'm expecting dan to whip out his phone for his vlog as well basically whenever we see each other we're just going to be crossing over all the time no, i'm going to try not to do that because i feel it's your priority and i'll get the after crap you get all the good stuff i don't know if they can hear you go on you get all the good stuff yeah i'll get the crap <laughs> So Dan, we're meeting these people at two. Um, we're gonna get. Should we get something to eat here? No, I'm not. I was vlogging in the car. I was on time. But well, all right, I'll just sit here and wait. <laughs> the chicken salads are here. Dan got the same, and a coffee. And here we are, Civic Hall. Let's go and have a little meeting. Oh, hello. Now this is something that I need to do. I need two quid. Might do it. Oh, so here we are. The hall. It's big. Dan's kind of standing outside. So yeah, essentially this is where we're gonna do it. We've got the plans, just got to get it going now. So yeah, we're, we're just sitting down, me and Dan are going to work out how to uh, get this event on the go. Just got a few options that we're going to work out and I guess it's working out whether we're going to invite you, you guys, or give the ability for you guys to come along. Yeah, Dan's on the phone using his contacts. Yes, yes, yes. My wallet has arrived. Gotta love Amazon. I haven't filmed much dinner this week, but in here we've got a sausage and veg pasta. That hair. Look at that. So anyway, the, uh, in my last vlog, I had to redo it all because the Premier League uh, gave me a strike. I've got a copyright claim on the video because I sh showed a bit of the, uh, the football that I was watching. So I'm not really going to show any of this tonight, but it is Tottenham versus Newport County at Wembley. What a night for Newport. Yeah, I'm hoping for the win because I, I think Spurs should be going for an FA Cup win this year. We need to get some trophies. Tottenham 1, Newport nil, Own goal. It's got to be. Sissoko can't claim that. So this is a position that we often find ourselves in. Um, Sharon is currently sleeping in my armpit. But um, she also asks me if she can get in my gutch. And that is Indian for armpit. Let me get in your gutch. That's what she says. I'm like, yeah, get in. Is there any other Indian words I can teach? Yeah, okay. So Genji is scissors. Pass me the rajay. Um that's a blanket. So we've got this duvet. Duvet, blanket, whatever. Gumbel is a blanket. Gumbel is a blanket. Say your little opening line that you say to all old ladies. Okay, so when, when I meet the family, um it's normally relatives that are older. I have to say Sastagaji and uh, you have to say G on the end. Sastaga is hello, but G is like a respectful way of saying saying it. So Sastagaji and then um they will say, Oh, oh Sastagaji and then I say, Hanji, Tiga, Zizikita. And that's like saying, Yeah, I'm good, how are you? And then they're like, Oh my god! As you can see, Spurs 2 new up now. I think we're going through to the next round of the FA Cup. I actually forgot to, when I introduced the video today, to mention about yesterday, because it kind of ended at lunchtime. I did film other bits in the evening, but um, the, I don't know, like, I think I must have formatted the card. So I've got loads of little SD cards on the desk, and uh, I'll, I'll pop them in throughout the day and import bits and pieces that I've done. I can't find it anywhere, so um, yeah, apologies about that, but it all ended with uh, Julie's chicken fires, didn't it? There's a woman at Tesco that really likes me. She gives me extra fires. Who the f*** is Julie? <laughs> <laughs> it's Julie! <laughs> Still 2-0 on the Spurs game. Uh, the Sunday League Extra, or more Sunday League Extra, has just gone up. I've had to go through, there's been about 15 or 20 comments 
giving away the score. Now, obviously, because the Sunday League games come out a week after, because it gives me time to edit both of them, um, it gives people a chance to go onto the website and check out the scores. You know, if you want to do that, that's fine. But I really don't see the benefit in coming onto our videos and then giving away the score to anyone that you know enjoys the videos and wants to wants to watch the match. So just in case you are planning on doing that and spoiling it for other people, I, I have no problem in banning you. Just like the 20 people I've just had to block and ban from commenting from the channel. It's over. Unlucky Newport. Currently 20 to 10. Might have a quick spin on the Xbox and then uh, head to bed. So I haven't actually vlogged today. I kind of filmed little clips but didn't say anything. Thought I should probably sign in. Sign in, is that the right thing? So yeah, today was pretty normal. I just like kind of did my work. Made a thumbnail for the Sunday League football video. Edited the Sunday League football video. Looked outside, it was pretty grey. Haven't quite finished the Sunday League video. I'm gonna do it after dinner. Shower's home now, we're gonna cook some dinner. We've got this British lean beef steak mints. And we're gonna be cooking what? Burritos. Come, in the come here. Basically, guys, the camera is on the coffee pot at the moment, and uh, we're cooking these burritos. We're making bur Well, the plan A was to make chicken burritos, but then... The chicken was kind of off, mm -hmm. so we've got to throw that away. So what's the, what's the, what, what are we doing? The plan is we're going to make some burritos and kidney beans and with some onions, and then we're going to do some mushrooms and peppers, tomato sauce, bit of seasoning, put them in the oven in these wraps, and there's going to be burritos. That's cool. And the big question is, Sharon, when are you starting your YouTube cooking channel? <laughs> oh no, hang on. First, can we clear up that I'm not a pescatarian and I'm not supposed to be pescatarian? Oh yeah. So for those that have just joined us on the vlogs, at the start of the year, Sharan had a bet with her brother that she couldn't be pescatarian for 10 days. She did 10 days and then started munching Big Macs. Whoa, look at that. Oh, look at you. Ooh. Kidney beans, passata, two cloves of garlic. Okay. Well, these look very good. They don't look good. Sharan thinks they're burnt, but... And they are burnt. Maybe we left them in for maybe two minutes too long. I think they look good. It's what your taste like that, that matters. So you know what that means. I'll show you, you could have finished that. So, that was banging. One of my favourite meals, I do like... Um, would we class that as a Mexican? Mexican? Yeah, for sure. Last time we made a Mexican, someone in the comments was like, I am Pedro, blah, 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 and that is not Mexican. I felt it tasted like Mexican. Sharan says it's Mexican, and if Sharan says it's Mexican, it was Mexican. <laughs> Is it Tex-Mex? That's what it is. Tex it's Tex-Mex, okay. Yeah, it's probably not traditional Mexican. Which reminds me, is Narcos gonna have another season? So I think it might be set in Mexico. Ding, 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 ding. I, I love Narcos. We also love, um, well, Shad didn't watch it. I watched Narcos, but uh, we watched um, Stranger Things and we absolutely binge watched it, didn't we? It's so good. Loved it. If you haven't checked out Stranger Things, get it. Like, go and watch it on Netflix. At first, you think, it's just a bunch of kids, but it's it's good. It's so good. It's so, so good. good. So um, yeah, we just wait. There's apparently a season three of yeah, that. Right. Currently 25 past eight, and I'm just editing down the final last bits of the A teams game. Also, just looking through some of the comments. I'll reply to these in a bit. But um, obviously, the result didn't go our way, and um, I don't. I didn't think it was a bad game. I didn't think we played. You know, we didn't play well. But then again, I don't think our opponents were. You know light years ahead of us but it's sad to see like the negative people that follow us come out of the woodwork when we lose a game and um start slating individual players i don't think it's on you know these players are happy to be put on camera and, and put out to thousands of thousands of people at the end of the day they're sunday league footballers bang average footballers let's be let's be real and i guarantee you the people that are commenting like probably can't even kick a ball some of them probably can but that doesn't mean to say that they deserve to be slated and say that they're crap and they don't deserve to play. I think it's, at the end of the day, we're playing Sunday League football because we enjoy playing football and it just so happens that it's filmed and you guys get to see it. I just think it's really, you know, you can't control what people say at the end of the day, but I get that people want us to win, but when we win, people complain that it's too easy. So when we lose, people complain that we've just lost a game. You know, you essentially we can't win, really. Welcome to Friday, B Team Friday, where I'm editing down their game today. I've been a bit distracted, I'm being honest, so I'm going to run behind and I'll probably only get half of it done. Um, and I'll have to get the rest done on Monday. But I've been called out as, I don't know, biased with my videos. And I haven't heard that since the, the, the game, you know, the hashtag game. Uh, putting that aside anyway, a similar situation has happened with this Wakanduna game that's just gone out. They're saying that I used the wind as an excuse in my commentary, but it was windy. Here's some raw footage for you. You can hear the wind. 
Look at his shirt, it's blowing. They're saying the trees ain't blowing. Look, listen. Even one of their players replied last night and said that it was a scrappy game and the wind played a big part. But it's the same situation. They won 2 0. I complimented them. I said that they were dominating and controlling the game for the majority of it. Yet, they still don't seem too happy. I mean, what do you, what do you want me to say? Like, they, they deserve the win. I can't say any more than that. I showed all their chances. I just think they seem to feel a little bit down by the fact that they didn't actually wipe the floor with us. It's a shame, really. Anyone who ever plays this is more than welcome to come round and edit it with me, and you can see what goes into a video. You'll be here for a couple of days, but you'll get the video that you want. And obviously you guys say things as well. The irony of Smith, the Spurs fan, complimenting Perry for not going down when rounding the keeper after what Harry Kane did at Anfield. Well, here's a tweet from BBC Sport. I felt contact and I went down, said Harry Kane, in response to claims that he dived. I actually said, I've had a lot of stick over the last few weeks when I said giving players an opportunity to go down is wrong. I'm sure those Liverpool fans who told me it's part of the game will find that hard to admit now. I also said diving would suggest there's no contact, which of course is wrong. The problem I have is players that leave a foot out to get contact in order to go down. It's conning the did Kane do it? Yes. Did Ali dive? Yes. Am I embarrassed as a Spurs fan? 100%. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that I want to get across in the vlogs. That, you know, at who I am as a person. And if anyone asked to describe me in three words, I would say 100% at the top is honest. I'm, I'm an honest guy and I'll, I'll say things how I see it. If I call things out in favour of my team, it's called biased. But if I call out the same things against my team, people will like, oh, you're just saying that because you want to look good. Like, you can't win. Much like Palmer's producing videos, as I said last night, if we win, people moan that it's too easy. If we lose, people moan that we're not good enough. Anyway, I've got to go. I've got to, uh, I've got to crack on with the videos. Sharon's home. home. It's coming up to half one. She's going to be working at home for the uh, remainder of the afternoon. Just so you guys know, the clock doesn't actually do this thing. It's only doing it on the screen. It's the frame rate of the uh, the camera, that's all. So anyway, it's National Pizza Day and uh, Sharon's celebrating it by buying three pizzas. Uh, we've got... Puri Puri Chicken, Meltingly, is that a word? Meltingly, good cheese and tomato. And finally, we've got Magnificently Meaty. So what's happening tomorrow, Sharon? It's Galentine's Day. Can you explain what Galentine's Day is? Well, we don't celebrate Valentine's, and nor do any of my friends. Mm -hmm. But we do now. We never used to, we do now, because we celebrate as girls. So basically, it's like a girl's Valentine's. Hence, Galen. Galentine's. Yeah. And we just eat loads of food, drink, dance, have a date night, but with your best friends. It's, it's much better than a Valentine's. So I'm being chucked out <laughs> of the house. But I'm cooking. So every month we have like a dinner party, me and my friends. Mm -hmm. And it's a theme, so this month is the Galentine's theme and it's my turn to cook. Okay. I'm gonna cook. Lovely. I'm gonna cook the food of love. Do you know what that is? Yeah, Italian. Italian? Yeah, uh, me being Italian myself, I would obviously know that. <laughs> and I was gonna go fancy, but I've decided to just do it. Just simple spaghetti bolognese but it's going to be a good bolognese it's going to have two types of meat in it pancetta oh, it's going to be so good and i'll make some chocolate mousse for dessert as for me tomorrow i'm heading to the north london derby at wembley stadium it's a shame it's not at white Hart lane a real shame but next season we'll get that back um yeah spurs v arsenal can't really call it to be fair so it's an early kickoff 12 30 so we're going to be getting up there early and um obviously the game's going to end earlier and then i'm going to come home but i'm not allowed in I've been chucked yeah, you can out. Come in, but you have to go by about seven. So I can come home and then go out at seven. And then I don't really know what I'm going to do. Bish bash bosh, all done, 10 minutes. And it was uh, three pizzas for a tenner. An absolute bargain, if you ask me. And whilst we enjoy this lunch, we are going to catch up with Hunted. I think this is the final. Is it the final? Mm, final. Let's do this. It's about that time, PUBG time. I'm actually getting quite good at this. And I don't think it's because I'm playing a lot more of it now. Or Dan taught me a little tip. The reason I'm, I'm not getting many kills, or I wasn't getting many kills, because I didn't have much experience with the guns and the, the handling of it. Because what I do is I go to somewhere on the island and hide for a bit and pick up as good at ammo as I possibly can. And then when it comes to getting someone, I couldn't even kill them. But now what I'm doing is dropping out the plane straight away with everyone else, getting a gun and just getting into the action. Sometimes I get killed early, sometimes I get a couple of kills and it's making me better. And the other night I had um, probably about three games, three or four games, and I got three or four kills in each of them. So. I'm becoming a better PUBG player. Oh wait, I can't believe we just got a winner winner chicken dinner without any kills. <laughs> That's unreal. <laughs> Another great day. But who cares? It's the North London derby today. Spurs versus Arsenal. I'm off to Wembley in about 10 minutes. As usual, game with Ash. Um, it's a bit early for Wagamamas. 
I've eaten a crumpet. I guess I'll probably just eat something in the stadium. It's weird though, isn't it, how I automatically turn to food when I'm going to football. It's not really about the football, it's about the food. But as for the football, um, I think I've said it already, but I think it'll be a tight game. Can't really tell which way it's gonna go. Before we go, I just need to do this. Traffic. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm really digging Ash's trainers today. All black Max 97s. As per usual, nightmare to get in. Let's do this. Bloody Nora. So that was good. First half was, you know, we were a better team, but we weren't really putting any chances away, obviously, because it was nil-nil, but we were a better team. It was really slow. Second half came out, absolutely smashed them all over the park. We were putting the pressure on all over the place, making them go back to check. He was messing up. He was a, he was a nervous wreck today, but um, yeah. Boys, they, they played very well in the second half. Then Bella especially, man of the match for me. We could have been two or three new up by the end, but you know, typical Spurs, we have to make it nervous for ourselves and we, we sort of let Arsenal back in towards the end. Um, I think it was Lacazette who, I don't know, was it Lacazette who put it, put it wide at the end, just past the post, that was, you know, heart in mouth moment. And then they get a free kick. Whistle should have gone, I'm sure, but they get a free kick and um, we managed to clear it. Up the field it goes, final whistle, 1-0 to the Spurs! How'd you feel, how'd you feel, how'd you feel? <laughs> Starving, I know you're pissed, but I'm happy with the result, obviously. Should have been 4 or 5, but uh, yeah, let's get some food. Yes, yeah, bad! Traffic in this place is unreal, can't wait to be back at the line. It might almost be half time in the 3 o'clock kickoffs, but we're finally out of the car park. <laughs> Hello. Wow. When it comes to entertaining, Sharan does go all in. Look at that. These are the rose petals that I bought about two years ago when I promised a romantic night. I didn't use them. They're from our wedding, though. Are they actually from our wedding? Yeah. Oh, right. I was only joking. Balloons. Can't wait to get that helium down, man. Yummy, your spurs. I hope the girls of Valentine's Day don't watch this vlog because, actually, Smith's providing. I'm the one that's making the pasta. In it goes. Tottenham take the lead. I'm even getting the drinks ready for them. If anyone ever asks what my favourite alcoholic drink is, this bad boy here, this Serrano with a bit of Coke. Or Diet Coke, I don't mind. And if you ever have Dr Pepper with this Serrano, it just takes like HD Dr Pepper, like properly Dr Pepper. This Serrano and Coke is Dr Pepper. Damn girl, you girls are getting crunk tonight. Damn. Say damn girl. Damn girl. They even sit in the table now, look at me. So it's currently 20 to eight and uh, trans friends are now making their way around. One or two are here already. And I'm kind of in this room. And obviously Shah at the start of the week said you've got to go out, get out of the house, this is our night, girls night. I mean, there's nowhere for me to go. I actually didn't tell you this, but I was supposed to go for an Indian with Tomo, but um, I spoke to him earlier. He actually went to the Spurs-Arsenal game. He was in the, the posh seats. But um, he said, phone me when you get home and we'll sort out where we're going and that. I phoned him and he's, he's just not answering, he's got, gone all quiet on me. So I've got nowhere to go, so I'm just going to hang tight, but it looks like I'm going to be spending the night on the Xbox. And right now, it's uh, a Fortnite vibe. Um, Troy 
<laughs> Troy Boy, he loves Fortnite. He's on it like 24-7. He's a very good player. So um, I'm in good hands in this squad. So obviously because I'm not going out, I've been, I'm being served food now. This has actually turned into a really good night. Pip, thank you very much. What have I got? Um, you have pasta with chicken, pesto and garlic bread. Thank you, my dear. Enjoy. So Dan's joined us now. We're on PUBG. Of course I've died, but yeah, great. Leftovers. Love it. Okay, so PUBG's done now, boys. And uh, we're on to <laughs> Dan's broadcasting himself playing a game where he's driving a truck. <laughs> the funny thing is, someone else is watching as well. Me and Troy are watching, plus someone else. It's, it's 11 o'clock on Saturday night, and we're watching Dan drive a truck. Ouch, that sun's blinding, but you know how this works now. I'm gonna do the Sunday leg extra. Then, I'll see you maybe during the game, or after the game. I'll see you in a bit either way. Vlog time. Just done the extra. Here we are. It's windy, but again, I'm not allowed to say that it's windy. Never, never mention the weather conditions. It's normally with the home team, you have to supply the ball, but it looks like our ball's being used out there. It's a precious thing, balls, in uh, Sunday League. We've acquired, it's normally with the home team, you have to supply the ball, but it looks like our ball's being used out there. It's a precious thing, balls, in uh, Sunday League. We've acquired this one, though. This ain't ours, so I'm going to go and give it back and just let them know. This one, though. This ain't ours, so I'm going to go and give it back and just let them know. More examples of wind. Sunday League football. Hello, what's up? Go on! Half time. Second half, again, I don't want to say it's windy, but it's windy, Charlotte. It's windy, yeah. We shouldn't say it too much, though, but it is windy. Got some game time today, Wayne, you happy with that? I've got uh, two minutes, yeah, I was very happy, actually. Good touch. First good first touch. First and that, touch, was the, that, was, touch. that was the only touch. <laughs> so, uh, oh, there's Wayne. See you later, Wayne. <laughs> I still need this cleaned. Uh, there's a car wash over there, but I haven't got no change on me, so it's going to have to wait another day or two. All right. Oaks time. This is a nice hat. It's last year's. It's last year's one. I don't usually wear last year's clothes, but I'm, I haven't got that this year, so. Oh, you're not wearing a Palmer's gear? No, these two are representing. We're being blessed with Huddersfield and Bournemouth at the moment, 3 1. Lee's just waiting for Man United Newcastle. Predictions for Man United Newcastle? 3 1 United. Not Newcastle. So I decided to import today's footage. You know, I was a little bit nosy just to see what happened in the, the A Teams game and see how Andrew got in with the extra, and I just started editing it down. Now I thought while I'm editing that down, I might as well edit down my extra from today. So I've done it, and there they are, all ready to go. So you're getting an insight into next week. Extras are already done. Love it. Now you might remember last week I said I'd give away this notepad and a lot of you guys got in touch and said that you wanted, you want the notepad for various different things. I have picked someone at random because they've all, they're all pretty good to be fair, all fair reasons. And here is your random winner. It's Lewis. I want it as it will bring a lot of positivity into my life as I have my GCSEs coming up in May and I'm a passionate Stoke fan and that is hard enough work. Well, Lewis, I've messaged you. Chuck me your details and I'll get this, um, I'll get this pad out to you. It is now time to end this vlog with Dragon's Den. It's how we end most Sundays. So you know the score. Don't forget to drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And Sharam, what do I need to say at the end of every single video? Because otherwise I get in trouble with you. Peace. I need to say peace at the end of the video. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. peace.